It's another fall weekend coming up in Dubois County, and it's the Holy Family Church Picnic this Sunday. Hello and welcome to WJTS Inform. I'm your host, Bill Potter. Joining me in the studio is a co-chair of the Holy Family Church Picnic, and that is Mark Mesmer. Mark, welcome to the show. Great to be here. Now, you are the co-chair, uh, so the other co is? My wife, Kim. Okay. And yes, I can't leave her off. Yes, you really better <laughs> not. Yeah, you got to make sure that she gets credit. Uh, a lot of work goes into putting this uh, church picnic together, which... Mm -hmm. This is a tradition with Holy Family Church. Yeah, we've probably had this picnic, I'm going to guess, 40 plus years. I mean, it used to be wow. a little bit later in the year. We moved it up to, to September. We used to have it in November and did a, sh and did a shoot shooting match with it. Mm -hmm. uh, over time, it got a little tough to do a shooting match in town, and so they dropped that and, and moved it, you know, when the weather's a little bit nicer. Okay, so the church picnic is this Sunday. Mm -hmm. What time does it start and what are some of the activities? Okay, well, they'll start serving dinners, uh, meals at 10.15. Okay. And that'll run till four o'clock or until the food runs out. Uh, and we have dine-in dinners. Uh, they're all nine dollars whether you dine in or, or take carry out or take. Uh, we have drive-through where you actually can just drive up and and we'll bring the, the meals to you in your vehicle. We have a carry-out area where you can, uh, you know, and at the drive-through the dessert uh, selection's a little bit more limited. Uh, <laughs> we have a carry-out area uh, in the same general vicinity where you can go and then you know pick you know pick your dessert that you want from a little wider variety. Or you can dine in where you sit down and, and, and can, can have the meal down in the cafeteria. So all, all three options, uh, all $9 for each, you know, each option. We have uh, ro roast beef, white chicken, or dark chicken. You can have your pick. So, okay, so and it's a whole meal. It's mm -hmm. uh, roast beef and... Slaw, uh, okay. green beans, dressing. The dressing is very good. It's probably the best dressing. Uh, and I guess I'm, I'm being a little partial, but <laughs> okay. it's pretty good. All right. Are you one of the... Uh, Creators of that? Or well, you no. Oh, it's just, yeah, just that it's really good. It's really good. I do. I do help uh, round up some of the uh, uh, food that goes in that. They they pick up uh, 100 pounds of turkey meat from Far Best Foods that they donate. Mm -hmm. uh, 60 pounds of dark and 40 pounds of white that they uh, picked up yesterday. They'll start cooking all that and getting you know get, getting that prepared this weekend. So. So getting it all ready for the Holy Family Church picnic. Yep. Food is not the only thing at the Holy Family Church right. picnic. But they, I'm sure you you also these are the dinners. But you have hamburgers. They'll things have like that. they'll have hamburgers also and, and turtle soup, mock okay. turtle soup. They'll okay. serve that uh, sell that by the bowl or by the gallon. They've got you can buy it for fifteen dollars a gallon. That usually runs out pretty quick. So if you come up to the picnic and want to get a gallon of that, I'd suggest get it early because by noon, you know, usually okay. they'll make about three hundred fifty gallons and and it's usually gone. Uh, pretty early in the day. If uh, you want a gallon, should you bring your container? Or do th you, nope, they have it in containers. They have it in the containers ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, perfect. Yep, like an ice cream bucket, but uh, they pick they pick those up uh, in Evansville. I think uh, Berry Plastics supplies okay. those as well at a very very low cost. Oh. That, you know, for folks. It's, using all, the yeah, it's all helping to, to raise funds for the church. Absolutely. Uh, well, what other activities other than food then? Well, they have bingo uh, that that that'll run uh, all day as well, and they have that in the fellowship hall. Okay. Uh, if you're familiar, familiar with the parish grounds at all. Uh, up in the gymnasium, they have all of the kids' games that used to be out in the front lawn. And we about every other year, we got rain that kind of made mud. And mm -hmm. so a couple of years ago, when we when we had the fellowship hall built, we moved the bingo from the gymnasium over to fellowship hall, which is just real close to the entrance to the church. And now in the gymnasium, we have that all set up with kids' games. Uh, we have and we'll have uh, from noon till about three. We'll have uh, music playing. We usually have a bluegrass band come in and play. That's where they have the hamburger stand and soup by the bowl, and then they have the, the area set up for kids' games. They have a ring toss, chicken flipping, uh, basketball, a fish pond, a coin toss, and a bouncy house. Okay. So those will all be set up inside. Okay, now you said chicken flipping. What is what is chicken flipping? They've got rubber chickens, <laughs> and, okay. and they've got like a like a teeter totter thing, and, and you put the rubber chicken on one side, and you, and you whack the other side with a, a hammer, okay. and it flips the chicken into a five gallon bucket, and if you land on the bucket, you win a prize. Okay. So well, it sounds like fun, <laughs> fun for the kids. Absolutely. Is there a raffle? Uh, there is a grand raffle, mm -hmm. and the grand raffle stand will be down uh, in the in the main dining room area where they'll have they'll, they'll have other other games of chance that they'll be okay. having as well. They'll usually have a showdown, poker, pull tabs, other things, but then the grand raffle stand uh, will be down in that main dining room area. Uh, they have a, uh, and they have several thousand dollars of cash prizes and, and dozens of other prizes. Uh, along with the grand raffle, we, we started a couple years ago, sometimes you get bigger items that are donated, mm -hmm. and rather than put them on the raffle ticket, you know, and somebody wins a, a you know, a, a dresser or something that they might have a tough time you know, using, we have a silent auction for some of the bigger furniture items that, that get donated. 
So okay. you, you can you can sign you know sign up the uh, silent auction bid list, and at the end of the day when they do the grand raffle drawing, then the folks who are in the silent auction can you know can uh, win their prize or, or you know settle up for their prize there as well. And then you do the drawing at the end of the day. At, yeah, at about okay. four o'clock when the quilts are gone, which is usually around four o'clock. Okay. You know that's when we'll stop serving meals, and then we'll have the grand raffle drawing at the same time. There's also a country store, uh, you know, country kitchen. Uh, there's there's uh, baskets that that uh, some of the girls are extremely creative on on different kind of baskets where you can you can buy uh, tickets to to put into the to the basket uh, uh, raffle or drawing that they have for those. So I mean, tons tons of uh, activities to participate in, and uh, and a good time had by all. Okay, and I'm sure you have a license number. We do. The license number for the for the charity gaming is one three five one five zero. So now, why do folks come to the Holy Family Church picnic? What, uh, what, what's the different reasons? Well, I mean, they've got great food. Mm -hmm. the, the The quilts that they have are are extremely high quality. The ladies that work on those quilts throughout the year, you know, do a phenomenal job. There'll be three that they'll raffle off that are, you know, they call special quilts. They'll have a raffle for those three, and the other couple dozen quilts they'll have on the quilt wheel. But you know, beautiful quilts, great food. Um, and a lot of folks that come, you know, grew up in the area and, and, and like to come back. But we, we have people that come up from, from Louisville, up from Evansville every year to, you know, to take it, you know, to take a chance at one in the quilts as well. Well, those obviously, those tend to be the biggest draw for, the, you know, the, the folks around the community is the food and the quilts. Sure. And, and obviously, if you're a member of Holy Family Church Parish, then you go to the church picnic. But mm -hmm. uh, all the church picnics around here just seem to keep drawing from each other. I mean, everybody oh, they, uh, they, has they, a good time because the yeah. food is good. And we coordinate our weekends, so make mm -hmm. sure, you know, I mean, between all the, the parishes around the county, we try to make sure everybody's, you know, got them staggered. And, and we do support each other. I mean, you know, we, we make it to pretty well all the picnics in the area and, 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 and you know, enjoy what they've, you know, what their parishioners have put together and yeah, help each other out, but it, it's a good time. I mean, the, the food's great. The you know, they're between the the bingo, the other gaming things, the the quilts, the food. It's a, it's a good way to, to spend uh, spend your afternoon or your morning. Like I said, we start at, at ten fifteen, and uh, once the dinners are up and running, pretty well everything's open. You know, from that time on. And we do know that the Honeybrook Hair Fest is also going on this weekend. Mm -hmm. But you can easily go to the Holy Family Church picnic, get some food, enjoy yourself, and then go to the right. parade. Right, parade starts at two at Honeybrook, which you know. I'm sure we'll have folks that'll that'll hit both, mm -hmm. but if you can get there early, have your have your your meal, the Holy Family, and then and then head back to Huntingburg for the parade activities. That's a great way to really fulfill your your day. So, okay. and because of the church picnic, mm -hmm. uh, the mass schedule has changed it, it does this change. weekend at Holy Family. Yes, on on picnic day, we normally have mass times at 8:30 and 10:30 mm -hmm. on Sunday, but on picnic day, we only have 9 a.m. mass. Okay. So, so 9 o'clock, it gets done just in time to go and enjoy that's the, the exactly church picnic. That's exactly right. Get done okay. about 10 and and uh, just just you know, head on over and and enjoy the day. Now, obviously, this is really good for the fellowship of the church and for parishioners and just for other folks to come and, and be part of this picnic. But it's also a major fundraiser for Holy Family. It is, and and the bulk of our fundraising, you know, goes to support the school. I mean, mm -hmm. a, you know, a small portion of it, you know, pays for parish staff and and you know the administrative side of things. But the bulk of our uh, funding that we do is to support the Catholic school. Okay, Mark, is there anything you'd like to add about the Holy Family Church picnic? Uh, we just encourage everybody from the community to come on out. Uh, we've got a, there. There's some parking on the grounds. There's a lot of parking on the the, the road. You know the the city streets around uh, the parish grounds. Just really encourage you to come on out and 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 uh, enjoy some great food and some great fun. All right, thank you very much. Our guest has been Mark Mesper. Mark is the co-chair along with his wife, Kim. Uh, or is Kim really the chair and you're the assistant? Well, however it works out. <laughs> Mark and Kim are the co-chairs of the Holy Family Church Picnic this Sunday at Holy Family uh, Parish or Church uh, on the south side of Jasper. Uh, come and enjoy a great time at the Holy Family Church Picnic. Thank you for watching WJTS Inform. We are local people watching local people.